Hey guys, and welcome back. When we left it off, we went to the moon to confront David, but things didn't go our way really once we chopped his neck and his blood started like spewing out of it, and our arm went nuts so because it wanted more blood apparently. This we did not know about to begin with, but now Mondo's dirty secret is now ours as well. So, what we could do, we could either tr do the RC mission, because I know we need to do that because there's a bit in the story where it doesn't explain it, and you need to know what happened there, but I think we'll do that after episode 5, She Who Eats Dreams. Client is unknown, status is a new mission, and everything is unknown. <laughs> That's great, I really love knowing in-depth details about my missions before I go on them. Okay, Mondo Mondo, after the character, the, the evil sound flows, episode 5, She Who Eats Demons. Eat demons? What? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Some kind of dream world. Makes sense, it's in the title of the mission. But we have to walk. Hmm. As long as we don't have to walk for a while, then I'm completely fine with this. But if we have to walk for a long distance, not a fan. Where are we even walking to? This looks like it's a dead end anyway. What's this rock? Anything to do with this rock? No. Nothing to do with a rock. So we just walk to the end of this like platform. I assume it's bound to happen because why wouldn't it? Oh, something's already happening. It's someone lying down with the sun, earth, and moon orbiting them. Okay. Normal, apparently. It looks like a kid, but they're like extremely big. Mondo. 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 The moon. So is that like Mondo as a kid or something? So it sounds like a like a mother figure, like calling him. Yeah, and he's clearly asleep and he's being told to wake up. So it must be Mondo as a kid. Is this where we discover he has a brother, and that his mom's dead, and they both got part of an amulet, and it's frozen? What? Oh, I thought the game had frozen then. It actually hasn't. <laughs> It was intentionally like that. I see. Bye bye the sun. Bye bye earth. Are you going to disappear to Almondo? Yep, bye. Okay then. I have no idea what that was about. It's just shown us as a kid. And that everything orbits around us or something? I don't know. Mondo, you're extremely special if that is the case, by the way. She means you have some, like, gravitational pull that's stronger than the Earth's, but also weak enough so that it doesn't, the moon doesn't just come plummeting into you. <laughs> the moon is huge in this game as well. I might add, I know there's, like, a massive importance on the moon, but Jesus, every shot they have, they just, like, moon, moon, accept the moon, take it, stop trying to hit me and hit me. That's basically just what they're doing. They would just be in Morpheus, apparently. <laughs> so that means I'm Neo. Whoa. So I guess we're just heading to the end of each platform and something's bound to happen there. This one's towards the moon, though. I wonder what this could mean. Camera angle shifting. Something's being spawned in. A table. And a sink. And more table and chairs. And people. So this is us again. It's this little Mondo. And that must be more or something then. <laughs> Not gonna lie, Mondo, but you don't cut like the smartest person. You think with all your training with your katana, you thought would have thought as a kid you were like pro cutter. <gasps> And there's another plate. This is my memory. Mom, this is over easy. Mm. I don't get why they keep freezing. Why is there another seat then? Does he have like a sister or a brother or something? Who is it? No, you're not coming in. You lost. Oh. You're getting a bit of a headache, that one though. Just open the door, see who's on the other side, smash her head in. And there goes everything. Hmm. 
Weird. Okay, it doesn't look like we can head any further that way. The fact that we have to walk is really annoying. I'm pretty certain most games got this idea from Gears of War, though. Like, when Marcus just puts his fingers up to his ears and they're like, Dom! What are you doing, Dom? <laughs> and then Dom just goes and kills himself in a fire explosion, and then he's like, Dom! Again. <laughs> Spoilers, by the way. Oh, who cares? The game's old. And if you haven't played Gears of War 3 yet, then you're obviously not a big fan of the series. So you don't care. And who's that? Who was that? I don't even know. I was too busy talking about Dom. Dom! I didn't even mention the person that was standing there in the red hood. Maybe it was Little Red Riding Hood. No one knows. Unless you played the game, then you don't know. Don't lie to me. Okay, that's... They're appearing in front of us and disappearing behind us. So is this like a no way back scenario? No way in. No way out. Well there clearly is a way in. It's being made for us right as we speak. And we've reached a little grass patch apparently. With what looks to be like a kind of cherry blossom tree. But I can't really tell the lighting's weird. So I couldn't tell if it was pink. Yeah it is. Whether it's cherry blossom though I don't know. And there's a unicorn. What? Why is there a unicorn? And that is like, is that Mondo's sister then? By any chance? And we owned a unicorn. Why the hell did we own a unicorn? And she looks suspiciously as like Moon River. I'm not gonna lie. She re oh Mondo's shocked. Oh, look how happy he is. See? I was right. Oh. Who's this? Is this Little Red Riding Hood? Okay. Who the hell is she? Notice that she's in colour as well, so she can't be part of the memory. Because everyone in the memory... Oh no, the unicorn wasn't. But the kids were. So what does this mean exactly? Does this mean war walking? Walking to where though? To the end of this? Okay, there's more platforms. There's platforms and platforms of walking on. The grass patch disappeared. This doesn't sound like a good idea, to be honest, Mondo. And you can see that's a rather large open area there. I wonder... Oh, wow, the moon's going nuts. I only just noticed that as well. It's weird. Mondo just must be tripping. Oh, no, it's a reflection of it in the water. Ah, I see. But it was in the sky, which is weird. And now she's drowning? I to yawn, I'm pretty tired. So, Moon River. She's still alive. And I'm going to assume she's our sister. I don't know, because how would she still be alive unless she has magical powers? Oh. oh uh, what the? That's kind of creepy. <laughs> oh god. That I imagine that would be quite scarring to be honest. No wonder you remember who she is. That would be a terrible surprise, I'm not gonna lie. Your sister just turns into flipping scary demon lady. Oh god, and there's multiple of you. That's not good. Apparently you're not the real one though, because you're not taking any damage. Who is this like one of them situations where it's like, haha, real one, fake one, weird one, roly poly. Oh god, who's who's laser beaming me? Hey, laser beam. What are you doing? Is this you? Hey, stop moving! Stop moving! Get back here, would ya? No, that's not you. This is you though, isn't it? Because you're doing laser beams. Okay, you're doing mad triangle beams, apparently. Okay, there's one down. We just have to kill them all. Or is there like specifically a right one? Oh yeah, each one we killed does a little bit of damage, I'm going to assume. Yeah. Okay. Let's 
cool. Hey, come here. That's what. Why can't I hit? Oh god, what's happening? What's? Oh god. Just dodge. Just dodge. Why are we playing first person shooter now? What the hell? I don't get this. Get over here. <laughs> I'm slashing you in the face. How'd you like that? I want to, like, dodge one of their attacks, but I really don't know if they do any melee attacks, and I don't know if you can dodge ranged. I'm just dodging for the hell of it now. Aha! Let's hit you. Okay, it's really awkward fighting from this angle, I'm not going to lie. We're just going to move around. Oh, there we go. That works. Oh, where'd she go? Okay, she just duplicated, apparently. I really wish we had some more combos to deal with these. We have some, but just not as many as I'd like. Come on, go over to her, would ya? Stop dodging in dodgy ways. Let's go to her. Oh, she shot that right through of me. That wasn't fair. AI is too smart. Oh god, not this crap again. I really don't like this. This is really irritating me. Because I really don't know when they're going to attack at all. But we do need to heal slightly. Oh god. She's invisible. What the? That's not fair. Don't be invisible. Ah, does that mean they're nearly dead though when they're invisible then? If so, that's kind of handy. And why can't you attack them when they just came out? That's weird. But now, just die, would ya? Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Okay, there was a laser being shot from over here, and there was an invisible laser person that I'm going to deal with. But in the meanwhile... Oh god, that was unlucky. I got caught in between that then. Hey, used to. Stop being invisible. There we go. Hey, stop it. Stop! <laughs> I really don't like this camera angle. It's really dumb. Because they can, the other ones can still attack you and you won't even know they're attacking you because you can't see them. Okay, heal up a bit. What are they doing? They're just going invisible now, aren't they? Just for the lols. Oh, god damn it. They're shooting in the way you're heading, like, that's really irritating because I don't want to actually head that way. It's just that I end up keep doing it. And that is a really awful design. <laughs> I really don't like the, like this perspective. And it's been used too much as well. Maybe if it was just a one-time thing, it'd be kind of cool. But the fact that they're using it repeatedly isn't the coolest thing. <laughs> I, I don't understand this fight. It's weird. Why can't I attack them? That, that's weird. Is there like an order in which you meant to attack them or something? I don't know. But the camera isn't helping. <laughs> Get back here. Stop running away. Oh god, they're doing the dumb triangle thing. I don't know what that does, but I want to stop them from doing that. If I can't. Stop! There we go. Now would you die? There we go. I'm slicing some of one. There we go. Die. <laughs> I sliced the other one apparently and killed her. That was weird. So I didn't even see what I was doing. There we go. Now... Die, would you? Oh, you're in the... You have to be in the water, don't you? Why can't I... There we go. That's better. <laughs> I didn't even slice you, but apparently I did. There we go. That's better. Decapitated. Do <laughs> you? Now there's just a big circle of red. What is it? <laughs> She's making a fool of you, Mondo. Look at her. She's just really yucking it up. While well, you're just in agony, apparently. Is that it? I want to say that was pretty weird. We were just sleeping. Moon River. You must have been having a nightmare. Sorry, I didn't mean to cause any trouble. When exactly was it we met again? According to my memories, it wasn't long ago. Where did you live when you were a child? On the dark side of the moon, my entire life. Okay, so we lived on the moon as well then? I don't know. So Mond is from the dark side of the moon as well, apparently. Is something the matter? Is something the matter, yes. Is the moon of dreams. She must be playing tricks on me. That's an awesome title, the Queen of Dreams. Results. Let's see how well we did then, shall we? Had a bad dream. Exclamation point. 
What did we get? We got a B. We got hit a hell of a lot, so I didn't expect to do that great. But nonetheless, we still kind of just smashed that mission out of the water. Aim for the head when using the bullet shot. Headshots can kill with only one hit. Ooh. It's interesting. A new mission is unlocked. A new item is right at the gift shop. Okay, something about stealing gears. I guess we'll check that out in the next episode. But before I actually go anywhere, I want to see what if we can do any upgrades or did we just not get anything then. Okay, I don't think we actually got any like crystal upgrade points then. What's costumes? Oh, there's no costumes for me then, I see. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. It's basically just, yeah, just slutty outfits. <laughs> this is dumb. It's just so dumb. If we can get an outfit for Brian then, yeah, maybe. Cause look at him, he's just, it's like casual day every day to him, apparently. And kid tips. Kid tips. And how do we go back to the mission select menu? There we go. Anyway, guys. I'm going to have to stop the episode here, but as always, I hope you've enjoyed, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.